What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. Uh, I am getting a plethora of statues here in the coming days, uh, starting out with Autobot Drift, Transformers 5, uh, which I absolutely love that movie. Uh, we are going to go ahead and unbox them, but not the traditional boxings. These take too long. So I'll just show you a few stages and parts while I do unbox this. I also got one box of the Rotunda upstairs, which I'll video a little bit because I do want to open that up. I believe it's the base. It's the heaviest box. But I'm excited for Drift. It finishes off that room. Unless I decide to change that room to garage shelving, which is a very, very slim chance. So excited to add him to the collection, though. I do like, I love Samurais. I love Transformers. I love Transformers 5. He was in two different movies. And so uh, glad to add him to the collection. So the box is decently heavy. Not a huge box. There's the brown shipper uh, colored art box and this is two foam layers uh, let's open it up already cut the things off let's see what we got it's interesting they do 3m for that and not magnet normally it's a magnet for that and here is the second layer i also see something saying 3m i'm curious is this just paper yeah it's just paper i'm i bet that's the same i don't know why they're using that but check that base out. Nice, good size. Love the colors. Uh, looks like there's the portrait, the body. These Transformers do take quite some time to set up. Usually like 30 minutes. There is 33 steps on here. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, start setting it up. Let's see what we think. All right. So step one was obviously getting the base out. And then you put each leg into the upper body as shown. Boom, boom. Uh, it was quite easy. It went in decently smooth. Had to wiggle it in a little bit, but here it is. I will say immediately, Drift is not a huge character, which is good because I don't have a lot of space uh, for where I'm putting them, but so far, so good. Alrighty, folks. So I attached all the different leg, and uh, he has these like helicopter blades back here. The only thing really left is the arms, the head. Now he does come with a few switch outs where he can have the swords to the side, and he comes with two separate shoulder pads that do go on top. So if you're ever going to do the switch outs, you have to remove the shoulder pad and the arm and the blade. So it's kind of a hassle for sure to do a switch out. So I'm going to look at both options and whichever one I like more is the one I'll probably be displaying 99.9% .9 of the time. Uh, there is a light up feature for the head. We'll have to check out. I'm sure it takes those uh, one batteries right here, LR44s uh, that always tend to die super quick, but you can see how big it is next to my laptop using the laptop and the video to go ahead and uh, you know, out of the box. I always find it easier to just watch a video, to be honest, because these instructions are very hard to follow. But let's check out first the swords, and then we'll do the hands close grip and uh, whatnot and get some batteries in that head. And behold, drift, all finished and set up. Uh, we got the light up going. To be honest, standing up, I can't even see it because of the giant samurai heads. So it's definitely a light up you're going to have to see from that angle. Uh, it does have a good brightness to it. It's a little difficult putting the batteries in. The magnet's super strong on the piece on the back. And then normally on Transformers, it'd be a button on top. This particular one, it's a little button here on the side. So I don't even know if I, I don't even want to attempt it. Uh, but here it is with the swords out, which definitely is super, super cool. It's very wide open, you know, the come get me ready to battle type pose. So very, very cool. It does make the statue quite wide. I don't even honestly know if that could fit inside my Stuva being that wide. Uh, I'm going to have to measure that because that adds a ton of width to the statue. Maybe at an angle I could fit it. Although I think I might like the other pose better. But I do like these swords. Uh, everything fit pretty good. Not every part on this piece fits super good. Some pieces like the little ones wouldn't go in all the way. But uh, I think it'll be fine. But overall, I'm definitely digging and love this piece. It looks super, super cool. Uh, but let's check out the other pose now. And I'm going to measure this before I do. And I'll tell you guys in a sec how wide it is. Because that width is very wide now. Because the swords are quite out. Alrighty, so on the tape measure, it seemed about 27 inches, 28 inches. Uh, although it's you, you could probably fit at an angle. Although this one, obviously... 
You don't get the swords, which is a negative, because I love swords. They're always awesome. Uh, but you do get an iconic, like, almost samurai respectful pose, and definitely a space saver, and almost just more natural looking than the swords out pose. So I'll probably just stick with this pose, which I do like, especially being a samurai. You know, I feel like this fits the character a little bit better. Uh, so you don't have to remove the head to turn the lights off, although it is kind of, you know, it's definitely one of the more difficult Transformer statues to turn lights on. Generally, I don't use the lights too often just because I find they die out so much. I use it a few times every now and then. I do like the lights because it does kind of bring a little life to the statue being a Transformer statue. But let's just uh, get some good angles on this bad boy, though, before we put him in the display room. So this base is more unique. It has these red parts, this giant gold in the middle. So definitely way different than all the other Transformers. Still the basic uh, design where it's like some sort of rectangle with a Transformer logo. But it is different than all the other Transformer bases out there. And I do like the color variation. It does bring life into the base and looks pretty good. There's lots of little details like this. That just look really good. The red matches him. It looks like the exact same paint style, but they did add some uh, decent like weathering to it, so it's not 100% clean. But overall, I do like this base. It's not super, super big. It looks about 22 inches width, but it does look really good. And then you get to drift himself. Now, he is not huge by any means. No bigger than Bumblebee, so he's not a huge Transformer statue. Stands about 23 inches tall in total to the top of his uh, head here, or if you want to count this back blade. I do like his face quite a bit. I think it looks really good. And then there is the arms. Luckily on the arms, the only uh, thing you need to attach is this really cool looking shoulder, you know, like armor. So that looks really good. Overall, the details are fantastic. Uh, so he does have a Autobot logo right there on his chest. I'll be watching this movie later today. I know in Transformers 4, he transformed into a helicopter. And this one, I believe he also did helicopter, but possibly a uh, car as well. Uh, it does have some Japanese writing right here on this part of the armor. And that looks really cool, adding into you know him being like a Japanese samurai transformer so very very cool lots of red uh the original version of him was actually quite blue uh, you know that was the color scheme for that one here on the back lots of detail as well you can see just all this crazy detail obviously this is going to be the helicopter blades he also has multiple tires right here as well uh for the feet almost like half tires uh, which looks like the landing gear for the helicopter uh and yeah all this fit really good and it looks great they use a metallic paint a lot of these smaller parts are generally i believe just like a pvc but they're painted metallic and they look really good and it's not something you would look at and be like oh that just looks plasticky no it looks really high end love the overall design though of drift and i do like the character so I told myself if I was going to get another Autobot, I wanted to get Drift because uh, he's in two different movies, which I both enjoy. I'm a huge fan of all the Transformer movies. And in general, I don't like to buy statues for movies I hate. I find I don't like the statue. Uh, I only buy, I really stick to statues from characters and movies and genres I love. Uh, and I love all the Transformer movies. So definitely a big, big fan. And I've been watching all the movies in a row, uh, waiting to watch the fifth one until I get this piece. So I'll watch the fifth one today, and I'm a big fan of that fifth movie. Very, very cool. Love the dragon and so many cool fight scenes. Yeah, but overall, I'm very happy to add this to the collection. It was priced quite good. Uh, it's not a super expensive piece. Not very big. But let's go ahead and put it in the Transformer room, see how it stacks up and looks. Alrighty. YouTubers, thank you for staying tuned. Here is Drift in the collection. Yeah, he is definitely on the smaller side of Transformers. 
He's not actually quite as big as even Bumblebee. Uh, he's actually probably one of the smallest. I mean, technically, Jazz is shorter, but Jazz is a little bit, like, wider. Uh, Drift is definitely, you know, a, like, skinnier one. And he, he's not the shortest, but he's definitely small. Uh, which helps because, you know, I, when you put a small next to the big boy like Sentinel, it makes Sentinel look huge. And the smaller ones take up less space. They're easier to display. And I still love them. The detail's outstanding. But there you have it. All my Autobots. And, of course, above is the 4 and 5. Uh, which is, you know, really where Drift is. Right beneath Grimlock. Two of my favorite things of, you know, 4 and 5 is Grimlock, Drift, and Lockdown. Uh, I don't really care to get, like, the newer Megatron, even though I think the statue is amazing, because I've seen it multiple times, it's amazing. I like the traditional Megatron right here. But yeah, here is a good look at Drift, definitely welcome in the collection. Uh, very happy to have him, he fits perfectly inside of, uh, that's a Stuva right there. But he should be able to fit in a best as well, he's not super, super deep. But this completes the room, really. Uh, this, I only had one empty spot in this display case. And uh, Drift goes really well here. So definitely very, very cool. The only other Transformer statues I like really would love to have is the new Megatron uh, from Transformers 3. As well as the Optimus Jetwing. Uh, that one looks phenomenal. I'd love to actually just pair those together. I think they'd be such an amazing pair. But as you can see, you know, I already got the complete collection, so I don't know if I'll add those. If I did, they definitely couldn't go in here unless I sold something, and I don't think I'll ever sell any of my Transformers. They're part of my end game for sure. Uh, they're, they're just such incredible pieces, so much detail. You could just stare at them for a very long time, and you'd just be amazed, like, wow, those are impressive. So overall, all my Autobots, the two best are definitely Sentinel and... The new Optimus, uh, well, the old Optimus, technically. And then the third best would probably be that Optimus. And then, uh, even though I think Ironhide is probably more impressive, I still like Bumblebee more just because I love Bumblebee and I like his look. But I would say I think I like Drift more than Jazz. And maybe, maybe almost on par with Ratchet. I would say he's between those two as far as like how much I like it. Definitely love it. It was priced good. It fits the collection. Very happy to have it though. No damages, which is great. Everything fit for the most part good. Always an issue with Transformers sometimes is the pegs don't fit into the bases. And that's just like such a pain in the butt when that doesn't work. Uh, you know, Prime One never even helped me out with Jazz when the peg wouldn't fit in the base. So my Jazz is technically broken, but I did glue it. And you can't tell, so whatever. But yeah, I am very happy to add Drift to the collection. Let me know your thoughts and opinions below. How do you like Drift here in the collection? I think it definitely looks really good. I'm glad this room is done. No more pieces to be added. Although I say that now and watch PCS release classic Johnny Cage and Sony. I'll be like, yep, need that. Because <laughs> those are some characters I would definitely buy. Uh, as well as Kano. Uh, you know, freaking Shang Tsung would love to complete the original MK1 cast. Heck, even MK2 as well. Uh, but yeah, that is it though, folks. Uh, so as far as upcoming videos, uh, so I do got one of the Rotunda boxes upstairs. I'm going to open that right now. Uh, we get the other two boxes tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, so I'll open and do his unboxing review for you guys as long as I get all the boxes tomorrow. If I if I don't get him, then uh, we'll do Red Sonia. Otherwise, hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.